uh, Northern Ohio diecast. Um, coming at you with a video today. Uh, some recent finds. I'm a local, uh, couple local uh, flea markets, indoor flea markets that I picked up today. We'll start off with the base of the mainline Hot Wheels first. Got this uh, 65 Ford Mustang. And that window's a little jacked, but that's okay. It's got the opening hood on it. It's from the uh, Motown Metal. I don't remember what year. I think 2000. So yeah, 2006. <clears throat> got a uh, Wastelanders 70 Plymouth Roadrunner um, from 2000. Four and this really cool Hot Wheels Collectors.com livery. I'm a Mopar fan, I love anything Mopar, especially these uh, 70 Plymouth Road Earners. Next one we'll look at is this uh, Butterfinger Chevelle, I think it's from 2006. Nope, 2002. So, that card's a little messed up on some of these. But hey, is what it is. I mean, I paid two bucks a piece for some of these. I mean, you can't just go and find these in stores. There are order castings, so. The next one we'll look at. This is from 2000, uh, 2002. The uh, Montezuma. These uh, five dot wheels and red windows and the Jack or the Joker or the Jack or whatever that is. I think it's a Jack a Jack of Hearts. Pretty cool gold, metallic gold. Sweet car, definitely sweet car. <clears throat> Next one. This is uh, I think this is a Zamac before Zamac was even a thing. But this is a 2000 first edition's Deuce Roadster. And it's a Zamac. It's, there's no paint on it. And there's a little tiny embossed Hot Wheel logo right there. And this is from 2000. Well, yeah, 2000. So, well, 1999. It had been on pegs in you know, 2000. Sometime in 2000. Look at the cars on here. You got the Ferrari, Ferrari 365 GTB-4. The 550 Marinello. Lincoln Continental, the Pro Stock Firebird, the DR2 Deuce Roadster, the Chevy uh, Pro Stock Truck, I've got two of those, uh, 68 El Camino, and the Fantastic, which is a fantasy casting, obviously. Next one. I got this <coughs> Baja Bug in blue. From uh, 2005, so yeah, I'd been, yeah, I'd been on pegs in 2005, 2004 copyright date date on it. He had the Bling series, the X Racers, Track Aces, Realistics, which I collected a lot of those. Um, drop tops, I collected a lot of those too, but those all burn up in a fire. And the torpedoes, which were uglier than hell, I've got one, and it's only because it's a Mopar. It's a 71 Charger, and it's orange. <clears throat> but anyways, next one. This is a blue card era. This is 91, so 92. It's fucked up. The card's fucked up on it, so it'll probably get opened. It's got this crease in the card up here. And these big-ass stickers on it and shit. But hey, it is what it is. I love that this is, this is my favorite era. Of die cat or Hot Wheels is right here is this blue card era. I've got that. Don't have the Hummer. I'm looking for the Hummer with the gun on the top. Um, I'm looking for one of these here. Shock Factor. And that's really it for the well for that series, anyways. I'm looking for a lot more from the blue card era, I can tell you that. 
I've got a few. I don't have all the ones that I want, but here we have a uh, this is a Pro Stock Firebird from 2001, 2002. It's the co one of the code cars. It's a Spree Candies. I've got a yellow one like this that uh, let me get this off here. That uh, me and my freaking no fingernail have an ass. It's yellow and it says kaboom on the side. I want to get a few of these that are loose for customs. Damn sticker. I don't understand why people gotta put blue stickers and yellow stickers. And I mean, yeah, yard sales, you can price stuff like that, but yeah, it's not me. I mean, you should have a book of, if you're gonna sell this stuff, you should have a book of all the uh, stuff you have in your inventory. <clears throat> Got a uh, 31 doozy from the faded blue card era. This uh, beautiful, like, metallic burgundy red with the wire wheels on it. Well, I call them BBSs, but I, I, I guess these wheels look okay on here, but that's a 31 Duesenberg. Metal base. Love this casting. This casting, the 35 Caddy. The Cadillac, the, like, I think it's called the Classic Caddy. It's like a limo, but it's a 35 limo. Cadillac. I need to start putting masking tape around these. Taking a page out of somebody else's book. Um, olds, olds, olds dude, diecast. Shout out to him. Love your channel, man. Love, love your collection. You got a nice collection of black walls. And then I got the uh, Fort Anglia. This is from uh, 2005 or 2006. Yeah, 2006. This one, it would have been on pegs. Let's see, what'd you have in this? The Dakar Power Sander, Sand Stinger, the ATV, the Hummer H3T. I had a few of those. Um, the La Troca, that's a very good casting. 65 Corvette, that's a good one. 69 El Camino, that's another good one. All these ones down this side are, down this side here are good ones. Especially that Ford Thunderbolt. I've got a few of those too, but not on card. Well, I've got one on card, but it's not a main line. <laughs> and this thing, right here, I have no clue about the company that made it, but if anybody can tell me more information on it, I know it lights up on the bottom. You got to put watch batteries in it, and this thing lights up, like the bottom of it lights up. It's got an opening trunk and hood on it. It's uh, Street Lights Muscle Machine Diecast Collection. 164 diecast. And Here's, I don't, I'm not trying to, yeah, I mean, you can see the back of this, Aglo, from 2008, this card's all shot on this thing, but you can see the batteries you gotta put in it, <coughs> it's pretty cool. got these just because you know i am a mobile fan and i'm wanting to collect all these i got the uh dodge rebellion the orange one the uh i think it's the the hemi express i've got it but it, but it's loose but it's also mint so we got the dodge rebellion went with the stand and of course of course i had to have this one a little red wagon I wish Johnny Lightning would do a version of the one from, uh, I think it's uh, Graveyard Cars. Yeah, it's Graveyard Cars, but it's called the Little Dead Wagon. Bill Maverick, good old Bill Maverick. Watching these things is, 
it's it's quite quite an experience actually watching these things go down the track it's i've seen it not this in particular one but i've seen some wheel standards go down the track and the rest of the stuff that i grabbed is loose stuff <coughs> i guess we'll start off with the, the one that i already put in the case up here <sighs> The uh, 41 Willies, Nitro Willies, in green. Green and like this satin or flat gray on top. It's a pretty sweet one. I had the uh, mainline orange one of this when I was younger. I think they make an orange in this one too. grab this uh, Cobra it's got like a Zamac finish to it uh, but I don't believe it's actually a Zamac it's a uh, no it's a premium release I think it might be from like the garage series if I'm not mistaken it's got the uh, opening hood on it and stuff pretty sweet I like I love the uh, red white and blue stripe on it against that metal it's beautiful if my camera would stay in focus and last one this one this one here i could not believe it when i seen it and that it's in mint shape because it was in a big box full of, i mean the cars were wrapped in individual bags but i cannot believe that it's not you know trashed this napa Ertle van with the metal base. This thing is sweet, man. I absolutely love this van. Never had one. I didn't even know it existed until today. But I mean, I knew metal based Ertles like this had existed. But. <clears throat> I didn't know they had anything to do with Nap, but I thought that was only like shit like uh, Nylent and Buddy L with the uh, big semi trucks and stuff that they used to do for a lot of companies. But that's going to be my video for today, guys. Um, please take care. Stay safe out there. Uh, be nice, be kind, and peace.